To find the formal charge on each element in C2H4, ethene, sometimes called ethylene, we'll use the Lewis structure here, and then this equation. So let's start out and just do a hydrogen atom. So hydrogen, that's in group one on the periodic table. That means it has one valence electron. Unbonded valence electrons, all of the electrons here, they're involved in a chemical bond between the hydrogen and carbon. So there's no unbonded valence electrons. Then we'll subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons. These are the valence electrons between the atoms. They're involved in the chemical bond, so we have two of those. One minus zero minus one, that equals zero. So the formal charge on the hydrogen is zero, and all of the hydrogens are the same, so they'll all be zero. Next, let's do this carbon right here. So carbon, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A, on the periodic table, four valence electrons, We'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. All of the electrons around the carbon, they're involved in chemical bonds. They're between atoms. So we don't have any unbonded valence electrons. We'll subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons, two, four, six, eight. So we have eight over two, four minus zero minus four, that equals zero. So the formal charge on this carbon, that's zero. Since these carbons are identical in the way they're bonded to the hydrogens and each other, the formal charge on this carbon is also going to be zero. So all of the formal charges are zero here on the C2H4 molecule, which is what we'd expect for a stable molecule like this. This is Dr. B with the formal charges on C2H4, and thanks for watching.